Hi, this is Namrata, and I make videos uh, every weekend. So uh, today's topic is how to exclude null values from JSON uh, in a Java API. Okay, so here is my class. Uh, here is my application, and in this application, I have two things. It's my controller and a product, a class, to hold the data. Okay, so let's see what is in my controller. So in the my controller, I have an API of uh, the path product, which gives out the product. Uh, and uh, in the product, let's see what it is. So in the product, uh, there are several attributes. Let's say it's a name, product number, target area, minimum quantity, and various things. So here, if you notice, so I have kept certain things as string and certain things as primitive so uh, here I have string as an object type and int as a primitive type of data type so now what happens is if I start my server and initialize only the name of the product so let's see what comes in the JSON so this is my application class I'll start my server so my server has uh, started Okay, and this is my API local uh, host ADAD product. So let's see what uh, what is the result. So here uh, I can see name as sanitizer, product number as null, target area null, and all other primitive types which are minimum quantity is set to zero. So here if you see my product type is int and it's a primitive type so the default uh, the default value of the primitive type is 0 so that's why the default values are set over here so what if you don't want these null values to be passed on to your client side okay so for that you need to have a library of Jackson uh, let's let me open my form and show you that dependency so here is a Jackson library so here is a Jackson library that you need to have uh, for this thing to work okay so this is a com.fastxml jackson.datatype so with this library uh, let's see what uh, we need to do uh, for our product class so that uh, all the null values are excluded Okay, so over here I'm going to put at the rate JSON include. So JSON include is the annotation which excludes all the null values. So here we need to mention what type of values to be excluded and what are to be kept. And so that happens when we have a value as include of the JSON include. Okay. So here let me set the uh, value equals to include a faster j uh, Jackson, uh, faster XML dot non null. So here I have mentioned that please mention values only that are non null. So that means that it is going to exclude all the null values. Okay, so let's uh, start our uh, project again and see what happens with this. So here you can see that all the values which were set as uh, which were not initialized. So all these uh, va all these attributes are uh, not sent in the JSON. Okay. So let's see, here was the non-null thing. Now let's see what is non-empty. So let's suppose in the target area, we set an empty value. Okay, so in the p dot, in the product p dot set target area as empty string. So let's see what happens. So I'm starting my server again and it is started and let's see what happens. So my empty string is not sent in the JSON. 
so uh, for the same value let's see how non null behaves so if i say non null so let's see what happens in the case of non null my server starting again and uh, yeah so in the case of non null the target area if i if we set it as empty string then that empty string is going to come so here was the non null and non empty section now let's see that is non default so what it says is if your attribute is set on the default value then the json is not going to include that okay so let's say uh, what is uh, so how many things so let's see how many attributes are set as default so we have initialized name and target area so rest all are working on the default uh, thing okay so let's start our server and see what happens Yeah. So only the values which were not default values were sent in the JSON. So here it was uh, the JSON include. So let's see if this JSON include was for uh, a specific class. So let's see if it works for the specific attributes also or not. So here in the product, uh, so here in the target area, where we are setting target area as empty, so we are going to put as at the rate JSON include, and we are going to set value to non-empty. Okay. include dot non empty okay so let's see what happens so my server is started again and it excluded the non empty section so this means if you set it if you set the json include section on a specific attribute also so uh, that rules is applied to that uh, particular attribute so uh, this was uh, how we control our json outputs so this is it for today Please put your comments in the comment section. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.